Well, with all that wind today, fire danger remains very high for most of our region. The Wisconsin DNR built a new tool, though, so that you can stay up to date with fire conditions in your community. News 8 Now's Jordan Frumstad tells us why following these rules could save you money. Today we're on very high fire danger. Burn bands sweep across the La Crosse area as high winds and dry air scorch the landscape. A season of wildfires, most started by people in Wisconsin. The number one cause of, of forest fires in Wisconsin is debris burning. Ron Schneider, a fire specialist with the Wisconsin DNR, knows how fast fires can get out of control. I have literally gone to forest fires in people's backyards and they're standing at their fire pit with a garden hose in their hand. Fires are unpredictable when the weather doesn't cooperate. On windy days like today, that's how fast these fires burn. Wisconsin's 182 wildfires this year already burned down 373 acres of land. The DNR launched a new online tool for people to check on fire conditions in their community. Our great IT staff developed what we call a, a dashboard. The dashboard shows in real time current fire conditions and active fires in Wisconsin. As to what caused the fire, how big the fire is, is the fire still burning, is the fire out? And it's just a great tool for people. Fire departments and the DNR can charge people for putting a forest fire out. There are also fines for burning when a ban is in place. And then if the fire burns onto a neighboring property and causes damage, uh, you could be liable for all that damage also. Schneider says consider another option. It's a lot cheaper to load them in your trailer or put them in a vehicle and take them to your local uh, yard waste recycling center and drop them off. In La Crosse, Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. Now, Schneider does expect fire danger to relax by middle to late May. We do have a link to their burning restrictions dashboard. It's right on our website, news8000.com.